गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वेलकम बैक टू इंग्लिश क्लास प्रीवियस क्लास आई वाज टीचिंग पार्ट ऑफ स्पेस रिवीजन सो टुडे आई विल कंटिन्यू द सेम टॉपिक अप टू एडवर्ब्स आई एक्सप्लेन इन द डे रिमेनिंग आई विल एक्सप्लेन नाउ बिफोर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द क्लास आई विल रिवाइज द टॉपिक प्रीवियस टॉपिक ओके ऑल ऑफ यू ओपन योर ग्रामर बुक पेज नंबर 7 स्टिल सर्चिंग Make it fast. Page number seven, ma. That big. Make it fast. Is listen here. So, what is the uh, in how many parts of speech are there in English? There are eight parts of speech in English, right? First one. Noun, pronoun, verb, adjective, adverb, preposition, conjunction, interjection. Right. So on the day I explain a noun. So what is a noun? A noun is a naming word. Okay. A name of a person, place, thing, or animal idea are called nouns. So next topic, pronoun. A pronoun is a word which we use instead of a noun to to. Instead of a noun, to avoid the recreation of the noun, right? So, in the place of noun, we will use the pronoun. So, why? Because we should not write the noun again and again. So, that's why to avoid that repetition, we will use pronoun. So, what are the examples of pronoun? I, we, you, they, he, she, they, her, his, her, him, they, they. These are all examples of pronoun. Okay. Next topic is adjective. Okay. A verb. Okay, what is a verb? Verb is an action word. Okay, whatever the verb we will do, that is the action. Okay, for example, writing, reading, eating. These are all examples of verb. Next, adjective. Adjective is a describing word. It describes a noun or pronoun. So it tells the qualities. It qualifies a noun or pronoun. The qualities of the noun or pronoun. The next is adverb. What is an adverb? An adverb is a word which describes or uh, modifies or qualifies a verb, adjective, and another adjective. Okay, this I explain now. First, I'll explain an adverb. An adverb describes an adverb. Describes an action, an action or verb it tells how when. Where an action is done. Examples of adverb: slowly, fast, correctly. Yesterday, today, a job. Before, yesterday. So look at here. What is an adverb? An adverb is a describing, describing word. Describes an action. Action is nothing but verb. It describes the action. How the action has done. It tells how, when, and where an action is done. So how the how the action has done, when the action has done, and where the action has done. 
Did you understand? So it describes a verb. Not only verb, it describes an adjective and also another adverb. Okay. So mostly it describes the verb. Look at here. Examples of adverb: slowly, fast, correctly, yesterday, today, ago, before, here, there. These are the examples of adverb. For example, just to be heard with that. It tells how, when, and where an action has been. For example, how the action has been. Let me take how the action has been. Just I explained in the previous class that now you are writing notes. How you are writing? Are you writing neatly? Are, are you writing ugly? Are you writing fast? Are you writing very slowly? So it describes how the action is going on there. Okay. Now how the action is going on? Some girls will write neatly. Some are write ugly. Okay. Some are write fast. Some are write slowly. So it describes slowly, fast, neatly, ugly. These are all adverbs. So these adverbs are describing the action. How the action has been. So it describes how the action has been. Okay. When the action has been, I have completed my notes yesterday. I have attended exam yesterday or today. Okay. Just now, before. There are examples of adverb. Okay, I have completed exam today. I will I will write exam today. Today means here the time when the action will done. Okay, do you understand? If the action has completed or not, uh, when action has completed, that means it tells the time of the action. And next, where the action has done? I have written the exam in the classroom. Okay, I have uh, I sat in a room. Okay. So where the action has been? Sir, you sat. Where did you sit? I sat in a room. I sat outside, right? I sat in bus stop. Wherever you sit, the place. It tells about the place where you where the action has been. So is it clear now? What is an adverb? An adverb describes a verb. Okay. It tells how, when, and where the action has been. Is it clear today? Some examples are like, I write neatly. I write neatly. How will you write? So here, neatly is a adverb. Here, write is a verb. Okay. This adverb is describing the verb. Did you understand? How the action has said. Okay. For example, she speaks. She speaks politely. She speaks politely. This is the adverb, okay? And this is the verb. So she is speaking. That means she is doing the verb, okay? She is doing the verb. That means she is speaking. How she is speaking? She is speaking politely. She is speaking rudely. Okay. She is speaking nicely. He is singing a song. He is singing sweetly. Okay. He is singing sweetly. He is singing sweetly. How she is singing? Singing is action. Okay. How she is singing? Sweetly. Did you understand? So here, sweetly, politely, neatly, ugly, fast. These are all the adverbs which describe a verb. Which describe a verb. Did you understand? Is it clear today? Is it clear? Okay. I will explain next topic from the parts of which habitual sex station. Okay. The next topic is preposition. What is that? Preposition. Next one. Preposition. What is a preposition? A preposition shows 
Speculation shows the relation between the relation between relation between two things. It is placed. It is placed. Now, can you hear? From the beginning, you are not listening. From the beginning of the topic, just now. Anyone text me? Come on, fast, ma. From the beginning, you are unable to listen. Ah, just now. Okay, okay. Something technical problem occurred here. That's why I think that happened. Okay, now again I will explain that preposition. A preposition shows the relation between two things. It shows the relation between two things. It is placed before a noun. It is placed before a noun. Look at here. Edge on near to in along by beyond up into over up with in front of out of. These are all the examples of preposition. Okay. So when we use preposition before a noun, we use preposition before a noun. Noun means name, naming word, a thing, person, place, right? So before a noun, we will use this preposition. For example, look at here. I'll say one of the things. So for example, here there is a duster. Okay, there is a duster. I kept on the table. Okay, where is the duster? It is on the table. It is on the table. So before a noun, I say, okay, on the table. The duster is on the table. A duster. The duster is on the table. So here, table is a noun. 
before a noun we have a preposition did you understand it shows the relation between two things i said so dust here yeah, two things are there duster table what is the relation between a duster and table the duster is on the table did you understand so here preposition is showing this is preposition it is showing the relation between the duster and the table okay for example i hold this duster imagine i kept on my hand where is the duster the duster is in my hand in my hand that means i hold this that's why the duster is in my hand what is the relation between my hand and the duster the duster is in my hand did you understand here in is showing the relation between my hand and the duster okay in is a preposition very good this one and next for example where is the fish the fish is in the water where is the fish fish is in the water in in the water that means what is the relation between the fish and the water the fish is in the water inside the, the fish lives in the water okay so here the relation between fish and the water preposition is showing the relation between fish and water so what is the preposition in did you understand the preposition shows the relation between fish and water is it clear for example there is a cat under the table okay my dear how is it where is the cat the cat is under the table okay what is the relation between the cat and the table the cat is sitting under the table okay that is under is a preposition here did you understand under so where are you you are sitting near me if you are sitting near me that where are you you are sitting near me what is the relation between me and you you are sitting near me okay near okay in front of you are sitting in front of me right you are sitting there i am here where are you sitting you are sitting in front of me okay in front means you are exactly sitting front side okay in front is a preposition so what is the relation between me and you it is in front of we are sitting in front of together okay so here in front is a relation it shows the relation between you and me right Do you understand? Is it clear? Yes. So that is about preposition. Shall I write now? Take a screenshot first. Actually, it is. It is. This is all in your textbook. No need to take. But if you want to write, it's your wish. Okay. Shall I write? Just as far. If I ask you, shall I write as teacher, no teacher? Anything you, if you say, I will write it. If you are not writing, that means how can I understand that whether you want to write or not? Okay, very good. This one I'll write this one first. Okay, the next one is conjunction. Okay. Conjunction. Seven part. Conjunction. Conjunction. Seven part is conjunction. Okay. So what is a conjunction? A conjunction is a joining word. A conjunction is the is the joining word. Joining words. It joins two words or two phrases or two sentences. Okay. It joins. It joins two words, two sentences. Okay. Or two phrases also. Okay. What is the conjunction? A conjunction is a joining word. It joins two words or two sentences. Okay. What are the examples of conjunction here? And because, and because, but, see, that which.
okay these are the examples of conjunction so what is a conjunction a conjunction is a joining word it joins two words or two sentences okay so how it joins that for example two words i take two names sita and geeta how we pronounce that sita geeta we can't say like that sita and geeta okay so geet here and is joining two names here okay that means two words did you understand sita and geeta sita and geeta so here yeah, this is one word this is one word so and is joining these two words that means and is conjunction is it clear one more example i was absent to school i was absent to school absent to school yesterday because i was not feeling well i was not feeling well i was not feeling well okay so here have you seen the two sentences i was absent to school yesterday okay this is one sentence okay i was absent to school yesterday one sentence one more sentence is i was not feeling well one more sentence i was not feeling well so here because is joining two sentences so here because is the joining word did you understand i was after the school is one sentence because i was not feeling well another sentence here two sentences are there so these two sentences are joined by because so here because is a conjunction did you understand but okay I like ice cream, but my dad drinks.
Okay, look at here. What is an interaction? An interaction expresses certain emotions or feelings of a mind. Examples of interaction: Oh, good heaven, allow, pray. So these are the certain expressions. If we are, whenever we are happy or sad, suddenly we will speak such words. Okay, these words are called interaction. Okay. If you are happy, suddenly you shout. If you win the match, how will you shout? Hooray! We won the match. Right? If you lost something, I lost. I lost my boot. That means sudden expressions of mind. Suddenly we don't know. We start knowing that word comes from our mouth. Okay? Such sudden feelings are called interjection. Okay? Hope you understand today's class. Tomorrow I will explain remaining part of parts of it. Till then, you read this perfectly. You learn this. You have, we have to write sentences tomorrow. Okay? Thank you.